This is SAT test 5, calculator section, question 27. College Board is asking you to do some computations with the mean. They almost always ask you a question involving the mean or median or both of a set of scores. In this case, the mean for 8 scores is 14.5. If the highest score is removed, the mean of the remaining 7 is 12. They want to find the highest score. The easiest way to do this is to think of these other seven scores that have a mean of 12 as all being 12 because that won't change the mean. So I have 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12. There's seven scores of 12. And then I have my highest score, which I'm just going to call x. So x plus those 12s e divided by 8 equals 14.5. That's the formula for the mean. I added up all the numbers and divided by how many there are. If I multiply both sides by 8, I get x plus 7 times 12 equals 8 times 14.5. And this is a calculator question. 8 times 14.5 is 116. Subtract 84 from both sides. And I get the highest score is 32, which is choice C. Alternatively, as soon as I have an equation with only one variable, I could put the left side in Y1 on my graphing calculator. That's X plus 7 times 12, all divided by 8. Make sure that your X plus 7 times 12 is in parentheses so that it enters correctly and the right side, 14.5 in Y2. Choose a window where all your answer choices are in the window. So I might use X min 0 and X max 50 and find the intersection and the X value at the intersection is the X value of your equation and that will again give you X equals 32. And they are asking for the highest score which I called X so I answered their question Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.